Welcome to the tutorial video for part 3 of module 1. In the last module, we added a question to our sample homework assignment, searching by topic. And most of the time this might work. As you use MyOpenMath more and more, you'll have previous courses and assignments to draw on. And you'll say to yourself, possibly, I remember this really good problem I used last semester or in this other course, and I really want to use that problem again but I'm having trouble finding it just searching through the libraries. How do I go and grab that question? Well, if you use that question in a previous assignment in another course, then you can actually identify it by its ID number. So what we want to do is go to another course. Say it was my Math 157 course. And I remember that this assignment here, yeah, it was this practice assignment, and I had a good problem. So you find another assignment, and then go to the list of questions for that assignment. Here's the list of questions. And you say, there was this one that I really liked, and I want to use it again. Well, then I can grab the number, the ID number here. 36960, and if I search that number, I'll be able to pull out that specific problem again. And that's a nice easy way to grab that problem from another course. So here we're back in our move course, and we're now going to paste that ID number. Um, previously, we were searching by topic, so right now it's still expecting us to search in it won't give you anything because you're still searching in these libraries. So to find this question, you're going to need to search in all the libraries again. Right? And there it pulls up that specific question. Right? No problems. Now I can check the box and I can grab this question and add using defaults. So there's a great way. Just go to the other course, find the assignment, Go to the question list, pick out which question it was, copy that ID number, and then paste that into the search box and search all libraries. And that'll pull that question up instantly. So that concludes part three of module one. We have one more question and one more technique for finding questions that we'll see in part four. So don't close this assignment out yet. We have one more question to add to homework section X.